Mics are still hot. The mics are still hot. <laughs> well, have they been listening to the <laughs> Oh, everything. No, not until just now. Here we go. Hey, guys. Welcome to Vanishing Gates. I'm Jay, your host in the strange, the unexplained, the nominally intelligent, and the overall ridiculous. I am joined again by the folks from... Humble Storms, Area 51. But that's changed. What is the new title there, fellas? Camp and lady? Storm, Area 51. And why? Because now we're nationwide. We got people coming in from, what was it, Florida? Florida Utah, Texas. Yeah. Everybody all converging the on the deserts. And Jack is here, after all. He's meandering in from the shadows. Water, so okay. Don't worry about Are you it. not on Facebook? Yeah. I went to get water. We're not live on Facebook right now. We should be. Oh, wait, hold on. We're not. No. Are we we're live not. on anything? No, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> so we haven't been live at all. Oh, no. Now we're live right. again. Oh, those of you listening in podcast realm, you get a secondary. Hi, guys. Welcome to Vanishing Gates. I'm Jay, your host. Joined once again by the folks from uh, Humboldt Storms Area 51, which has changed their names. And let's do this again, because we've done this already. Camp Storm Area 51. <laughs> And why is that changed? And why did we change the name? Because <laughs> now we're nationwide. We got people coming in from Florida, Utah, Texas, everybody converging on the desert. The Utah. We have people in the Utah. The Utah. Is that a thing? Yes. And Jack, guys, is here. Right. He's over <laughs> there on the side somewhere, being a gobshite with a Broncos shirt on. I can't get in the For shop. some damn Hi, reason. Hi, I'm over here somewhere. I forgot there's like a 30 second fucking lag. <laughs> it's like, no, it's look, like you showed up. There. Good to see you. All right, guys, so we are going to be uh, on site once again at Bigfoot Days in Willow Creek, California on August 31st. We're going to be hanging out with these folks, podcasting, doing games. Bring in some awareness, trying to raise some money for the camping trip you guys are going to do, right? Yeah, that is the plan. And so, explain to us these whole, because uh, no one apparently ever has heard about Storm Area 51 that can't stop us all. <laughs> How? Power up on Mario. So, please explain to us what's going on here. To the viewers at home and the listeners who aren't watching the show. I'm putting one on the okay, spot. Okay, well. Sorry. <laughs> Um, <laughs> hey, wasn't this your idea? Word. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Naya. Hey. This is Naya. She has a microphone now. I do. Uh, I just heard about the event on Facebook, and I wanted to go with a couple of my friends, and then everybody else wanted to go too, so now it's an event. And I don't really have much to do with the management of it, but I'm excited to go. So it's been <laughs> power up again. <laughs> it's going to be a festival, right? We're not actually trying to storm Area 51, are we? Because that would end in... We're just meeting a bunch of cool Bad people things. in the desert. There is no scheduled group activity for storming Area 51. There is now. But there, there has been. You, you put enough, oh, there's a festival. Oh, okay. You put enough booze into Brian the over there, and you'd be surprised what he'll do. <laughs> Look at Brian and Mike. He's off camera, guys. You met Brian last time, but he's sitting over there in the ether. I'm playing on Facebook. Playing on Facebook, having Mario ringtones, and... Eh! You look at Brian. that. Door. There we are. All right, so what's the plan here? <laughs> what's the question? Camp Storm Area 51, because now you guys are global. You're not just uh, humble Storms Area 51 anymore. You guys have, like, a following, it seems like. Yeah. A little bit of one. Yeah. It's growing. It's growing. There's some people from uh, coming from all over. They're, the guy who created the original Storm Area 51 event as a joke, he's now trying to make a festival out there. And should. And... Uh, so we're just going to go camp outside the festival. And so what do you guys think about when uh, he got bounced off Facebook a couple times and then reinstated both times he got bounced? Big, like, big it was brother all, watching. Look, it's a bad thing. idea to post There's shit like a, that. But honestly, 
I don't think he meant was, well. I don't think it was the event or him as much as the people that Hello. are posting in the group. Yeah. There's a child present. <laughs> there is. It just showed up. Always, yeah. He just pops up. <laughs> Random He's kid. Storm. Vanishing gates. No, I, I think it was more <laughs> of a... Uh, there was a dude on the page trying to sell acid. Oh, really? Nope, not no, not sell. He was giving it away. He said, no sales, just find me at the event. I think that's what got the event shut down a couple of Cause times. Because we forgot and about the what's asshole talking with all the acid. I really appreciate you never getting back to me. I was really <laughs> looking forward to getting a couple sheets of that shit. But no. Tool bag. <laughs> we look yeah. forward to meeting you still. Come find Thanks for me. nothing, jerk. <laughs> also, please show up. I love you. That's what he's saying. <laughs> it's easy translation. All right, so we will be going, uh, doing a live thing at um, Bigfoot Days on the 31st of October, right? 31st or 30th? I can't August. even remember. August, August, August. Good Lord. There's something else going on 31st I'm of already, October. yeah, it's, it's a thing like that I spend my entire year thinking about. <laughs> Halloween. I just want to throw something Sawane. out there real quick. If anybody's got questions, I know we're not talking much, I'm giving a whole lot of information. Just throw a question. We'll, well answer um, it. Yeah, please. Dave uh, says we should go Q to the beach and pick up trash because he, <laughs> he, like all of us, is on Facebook. Hey, Dave. <laughs> hey, he's in Winnipeg. I'm he an care. avid volunteer for Dune Restoration. Uh, so we we have we jobs, Dave, and <laughs> it all took us a lot of coordinating around Business our work handled. schedules to get here. What's your <laughs> fucking excuse? He's Canadian. Oh. <laughs> Canada? <laughs> Who the fuck likes Canada? Nobody. Go hey. back to Canada. Canada's all right. <laughs> hey, his I first like word to us was cunt. Was it really? Yeah. It how, was. Did, how did he say it? Yeah. Cunt. Cunt. He typed it technically. He typed it. Say it. Oh, he typed cunt. it. He, he probably I mean, say like, it really. kind of you, Dave. We love you. <laughs> if you want to come down here, I'll clean the beach with you. We'll, t we'll show you what it's all about. A boot. <laughs> a boot. Ashley, he's also high. very Ashley, large. Actually, he makes a good point. Paul right. does need a job. He's hot. Jo he's Wait. Cool. Why does the girl in the picture with him look so familiar to me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> best not to go there. All right, podcast folks who are listening on the show Allergies. and not watching. You guys are missing out. <laughs> Find us on Facebook. No. <laughs> Find them on Facebook. That too. <laughs> Camp Storm Area 51 on Facebook. Alright, so what are our goals for this uh, Bigfoot Days thing? Yeah, we're going to set up a booth. You're going to have the podcast portion of the booth. Uh, we got someone selling some wooden Bigfoot signs. Is that correct? Yeah. Alright, I think wooden they're going to have Bigfoot on them. Signs and furniture and whatnot, yeah. And some wooden stuff. And you guys have games going on, right? Oh, uh, we scratched the games. No, uh, we're not doing we're games? Doing, we got a couple of craft projects going. Son of a bitch, we're, we're doing, doing games. Uh, we got some slime. <laughs> So slime? kids can make their own slime with a little alien toy. That way they're stuck with it so their hands are clean. Yep. So children can make a little bit. marble painting. Gotcha. Yeah, so we've got some stuff we're for the paint kids. marbles. we got a cool alien uh, outer space photo booth we're going to set up. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Dope. And then, uh, what else we got? Oh, we're we're still raffle. auctioning. We're going to raffle. Your raffle, yeah, 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 raffle. So what do you guys got for the raffle-wise? Because I got this, first of all, this is not the one we're raffling off. This is a tiny Bigfoot that we're selling at the booth, but there's a much larger squouch that we're raffling off for y'all. So if you want to get a foot like this, a Bigfoot a Squatch. What's a better name? Sam's Quanch. Harry Sam's Quanch. You can just uh, <laughs> come by one of these tiny guys or <coughs> enter the raffle for, Canadians. for yeah. the larger one. Hey. Canadians yep. need hey. not apply. We also have... Uh, <laughs> what is this? This here, you got to take that for me. It's got a... The Bigfoot there is made uh, out of abalone. An abalone it's a nice foot. necklace, yeah. It's a nice abalone necklace. And then there's uh, some matching earrings. Where the heck did this off. come from? It was made. It's Native American. It's got sinew and leather and stuff. It's really well built. Is it sinew from an actual swatch? I have no idea. I'm not the jewelry person. Where on earth did this come from, aside from... My mom made it. Oh, okay. I don't <laughs> want to ask any more questions. <laughs> it's probably from a Sasquatch. That poor bastard. So we got that. We got a um, Darth Vader mask. Yes, we got a Darth, Darth Vader, Vader helmet. helmet. Yep. Helmet. Uh, we have a few other items. We have a 
that we're going to go sort of along the paranormal, Bigfoot, alien theme. Sci-fi. Yep. Sci-fi kind of stuff. And if you guys are interested also, if you're gamers and don't have the setup, also going to auction off this thing. Very cool raffle. This is a raffle. Uh, HD raffle, raffle. video raffle. capture card raffle auction off, whatever. Well, auction implies we got an auctioneer and we're going to be sitting up there. Hey, there man. Going, I might. Yeah. I think you'd do better than me. Yeah. All right, so raffle off an HDMI capture card. This is something you take yeah. mobile. Don't have to be live stream. Doesn't have a video pass through, but it's still pretty cool. And it's HD, so you can record your games and videos and whatnot and share them to everybody else through this stupid thing. Yeah, I call it stupid because it's not a thing. Thanks. I think that's what it's told. But Much like all, myself. We're going to, uh, <laughs> we're just going to be having a lot of fun. <laughs> trying to get rid of some stuff. <laughs> to get rid of, we're okay, just trying to dump our crap on you. Hopefully enjoy it for some money. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get rid of some junk and you'll hopefully go home with some and we'll go home with some cash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cash monies. But we're also looking forward to your stories of uh, The Unexplained. Uh, people that want to go and check out Area 51, the camp thing, like the festival is a better way to say to think. Because yeah. no one's trying to actually Naruto run to a bunch of gunfire nope. and bombs. But uh, <laughs> we talked about the last show. Not actually trying to get killed. You're just trying to hang out and make a festival. It's like um, Woodstock versus we're Altamont. Be, well, we're not trying to get killed storming Area 51, but I think a few of us are looking to the mass rioting and looting and shootouts that may occur afterwards. I also don't suggest that, but all right. <laughs> Probably not a good choice. Everybody says they can't stop us all. Have you ever heard of an A10 warthog? <laughs> yeah, they can. The herd's not gonna thin itself. On my to bring list. <laughs> the, the herd's not gonna thin itself. All right, good call. <laughs> Bad call. <laughs> we do not suggest you storm a military base. No, not at all. Preferably, we don't not suggest. Not an American that. one. Well, we'll be. Uh, we'll be but right feel there. free to run up in the Canadian shit if you're ever up that way. <laughs> do you think Canadians have military bases? <laughs> Dave, oh, yeah, do Canadians have military bases? Because we need jobs. See, you still watching? <laughs> you should have yeah, He's fucking around. <laughs> so uh, I thought Canadians were nice, eh? All that Bigfoot days. <laughs> You guys, this is going to be the first time that uh, Bigfoot Days has had a podcast out there. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I think so. Yeah. They were pretty excited. They, I got an email back from them. And... I was out there a couple of years ago and uh, didn't even try to get a booth. So, yeah, we'll be actually podcasting. So, if you have encounters with Squatch, Yaren, the Yowie, whatever it is, Stop all those things, booth. please come by and talk to us. I've been filming a documentary for two years now because I haven't had time to actually film a documentary all the way through. <laughs> guys are welcome to join on. Oh, very. Very what exciting. What other documentaries have you worked on? That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do much aside from that. <laughs> we, uh, it's big for days. It's all weekend long. Or it might be a week long. I'm not sure how long it is. It's a it's day. Weekend. No, it's the whole weekend. Yeah, it's a weekend. Yeah. I have wow. We'll never been to Bigfoot Days. They have, they have, they they have horseshoe competition, I think. They don't have anything else to do. I've never been. They have horseshoe competition. They have barbecues. They have music. Do they have cornhole? They have the best parade. <laughs> I'm a pro at cornhole. Sometimes you make your own cornhole. I don't so fucking play knows. cornhole. Uh, then why did you ask about cornhole? Because that, I'm a fucking pro. Nice. Okay. That was going to so, be one of the games we were going to have before you got You can't be scratched. on my team if yeah. you're not good at it. Do we need cornhole, cornhole now? Cornhole. Like, is that the thing we have to do? I'm a team of one. Why are we stopped on games? I'm curious. Cause budget. Because we're trying to be budget. serious. <laughs> budget. Got it. <laughs> no <laughs> the amount fun. of money it cost me to buy the slime and all that shit. <laughs> slime? You know, you could have said, hey, dude, <laughs> we yeah, need a cornhole set. Let's just do no, this. No, I have a cornhole set. Well, then bring it. Well, what are you going to do? You already money? have it. Why are you, you going to give me money? I'll bring me. it. Trust Try and please bring, bring it. Give him some wall. slime or something. Brother, I'll bring it. We brother, no it. amount of guitar picks. They got to no, make the slime. Give him guitar picks for No free. amount of slime is going to want it, you to get anything into Brian's cornhole. <laughs> <laughs> I've never wanted to play cornhole my entire life, so what? I don't know. Really? Because I kind of thought the other, but... Well, that's what came out after kids kept getting horseshoes. What kind of impression do I give you? Like lawn darts. That's not 
But we'll shit if it ain't. It's, it's jarts. We should get a set of jarts and play that so we can get sued to death. I had a set of those. Let's not play jarts at Bigfoot Days. Because uh, we'll actually get you, sued. You're not just coming out for our booth. <laughs> There's a whole event. They have a parade. Yeah, there's a parade. There's food vendors. Other music, booths. Other booths. And they have things to do. Stuff for kids, bounce houses and stuff. Yeah, they actually have a water slide bounce house they do usually. Yeah. There's also a river right there that's really good for swimming. And also there's not a bunch of forest fires this year so you can breathe oxygen hey, instead fingers of... Cross. Fingers, fingers, fingers crossed, cross, knock on yeah. wood. There's also it's usually a beer vendor out there, yesterday. which is pretty awesome. What? There's also a beer vendor out there. Usually, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, the bars will let you take your drink outside during the parade. So you can the go bar. Up. The bar. <laughs> there's two. In Willow Creek. What? Yeah, and that's one of them closed. Since when? So there's Bigfoot two. Days is in there's Willow Creek. Yeah. yeah. P and J's. I need to go up to Willow Creek anyway. Maybe they're all closed. What do you mean? Aren't you going to be there for the event? Yeah. But well, then I have a lot of reasons to go to Willow Creek. Me too. But they'll, they'll let you take a drink outside. So that's cool. No, that's cool. Or at least they used to. For some reason, it's a place to be. One of the best uh, pool cue makers in the world is actually in Willow Creek. Mm. He owns mm. P&J Billiards. He, one of the best mm. pool cue <laughs> makers in the entire world is up there. That's not there's even a, a joke. Of, uh, there's a lot of people like that that just want to escape and not be known and hide in the mountains. Weird. Uh, well, hide and get that. lost and never come out of our mountains. Speaking of which... Just got a text message about 10 minutes ago. My friend was found in Trinity Alps. He didn't make it. The EMT. Yes, from Blue Lake. That is very uh, sad. Uh, He's been missing uh, about since a week Sunday. Now, right. Yeah, about a week. What happened? Sunday. I don't know yet. I just got a text like uh, that. They did finally find him. Uh, well, Godspeed, good sir. Godspeed, yeah. and fucked up. hopefully his family can get Thank some rest. Thank you to rest. all those who uh, went out there and helped look for him. Yes. And and we do live in some strange... We do, we do. Don't go venturing off Places. into the woods by yourself. No. Nope. You're experienced. It, so Never I saw a, a YouTube documentary <laughs> that I had to just laugh at. Uh, they were talking about the five missing girls in Northern California, Humboldt County, including uh, Karen, who disappeared about two blocks, two miles from where I lived at the time she disappeared. And they were talking about, like, serial killers and stuff. I'm like, mm, no one thought that. There was a serial killer for a while. Yeah, but he wasn't was involved. Weird. No, he wasn't. No, he, he wasn't involved at all. all his victims, I'm yeah. Sure, but. And, and Ward went in there. There was two. There was the, the Ward guy that walked into EPD with his, the, the, the press, his girlfriend's the boob in his hand and tossed yeah. on the table. But she was never even considered to be part of that. There was an older guy that HBO did a documentary on. That's the other one. I'm just like, look, I'm like, dude, no one is saying it. Murder Mountain made it even worse. That documentary was just... A documentary was a crock of shit. Fucking hole of garbage. You guys could have done a little bit better. Like, look, we know shit happens in the hills. Every mountain's Murder Mountain. <laughs> it, there's a reefer signal going around. It's not just bat signal. It's slightly different. <laughs> But no, come on. Like, not everyone's getting murdered by cartels and crap. Serial killers out here. We're mostly just zombies on benches that are homeless on methamphetamines. Uh, That's a little it more accurate. More exciting if it was just or uh, cartels. Drinking from drugged waters. Mm, so now we got meth foot. <laughs> meth foot. <laughs> You guys see that thing about Florida? I think if Bigfoot got hooked on meth, we'd definitely find his ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, he couldn't stop. He couldn't stop walking. I need to find shoes that will fit this weird turn up of my foot. Find him dancing find him in, the Broadway, of, like, in the middle of Broadway oh, having a fight with himself. You got some nail clippers? You got some nail clippers? <laughs> I got to trim this shit. I used to trim regular stuff. Now I just squouch. I'm gonna find him sitting on the curb, crying with a razor shaving himself. <laughs> oh, it's so heavy. Why do I itch so much? <laughs> Too much meth. So don't, maybe don't dump your drugs. All right, so watch out for meth foot, because meth foot will eat you. <laughs> meth foot doesn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why meth foot's so skinny. <laughs> 
So do we have any fun and exciting games planned for when we're out at uh, Area 51? <laughs> we <laughs> should bring some Karen. Apparently we're bringing Cornhole. Dude, we should bring some Karen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm? Lots of Taranite. Please explain. Tannerite. <laughs> Tannerite. Yes. yes. <laughs> Even better. Yeah. You mix this stuff up, you set it out there, and you shoot it with a rifle, and it explodes. You it's think fun. it's going to be cool to shoot stuff outside of a military installation? What's the in middle Mexico? of the desert? Right. They be just, blowing shit what up. What they're doing? Them, man. <laughs> All right. It was them, man. Uh, the those shit. drones. Yeah. Those drones. They don't give a fuck what you look like. <laughs> I don't know what the shooting mods are. Up there. Maybe we could. I'm not sure either. Actually, actually. Got a good backdrop I bet if we could. It's a very friendly <laughs> state when it comes to. We can hey, attach them uh, to a drone and fly it up to a drone and be like, boom. Attach <laughs> it to a drone, fly it to... Uh, we should raise money for you guys to get a drone that has guns on it. So you get labeled as domestic Terrorist. terrorists. I'll pass on that. <laughs> Thank you. I'll pass on that option. Thank you. I love America. Word. I love them aliens, but I don't want Not to Not such that a big bad. fan of Canada anymore. <laughs> they can stay Canada's, I like Canada. Canada. Canada has some great candy, dude. Have you never had a freaking... Canada has letter kitty. Oh my god, also, it's yeah. the best show right? ever. The I best mean, show. Canada's I tried to get him dope, to watch dude. it, he won't watch it. What? John LaHoey? What? Better John LaHoey? What is Lahoey? that? He's a, oh, after the show's over, I'm going to show you John Lee you, you will love it. Is it a cartoon? No, it's a dude. It's You'll love it. Don't I worry. I do cartoons. Oh, no. It's, 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 this is a comedian. There, You're going to love the hell out of this. They also have actually pretty good uh, amount of people that like guns, which is weird. Can I shout out the grower of this stuff? You just shout out Not the if you get dead for it. It's your shit. No, it? the grower won't be mad. Shout out to myself. <laughs> <laughs> This amazing platinum sour diesel that we're enjoying right now. It is legal here in California. So if you're in California, find that platinum sour D. I know the guy from Canada really likes the D. Sour D. <laughs> I hope you're in compliance, otherwise you're proper fucked. <laughs> Six plants or less. <laughs> all right, cool. I'm down. Jason's like, all right. Kick Jason, back on the show Jason's a little bit. There's sour D. Uh, no, I don't care. Let's not like, get my podcast shut off. Fuck that. I don't give a fuck. We've already talked about kick back some love, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He was talking about guns to drones. And I, 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 we're trying, to, we're trying to go camp outside of a military base, <laughs> and you're talking about guns on drones. <laughs> If I had to talk to dudes in black suits, <laughs> I might remember... No, yeah, I'm, let me tell you something. Yeah, you look pretty good in a black suit. When I'm people saying. show up at my house looking all <laughs> thuggy and radish, I'm like, oh, the homies are here. When people show up at my house in suits, everybody runs, gets quiet, turns off the lights, locks the doors. We're like, shh, pretend no one's home. Shh. Right? Quiet down, I didn't pay my taxes. Quiet down, I didn't pay my taxes. That's all that speaks. What are taxes? Oh, good Lord Almighty. Those are the fees we pay to live in a civilized society. And they build our roads. <laughs> rhetoric, rhetoric. You got a dead dude over there, Raptors. Dude. What is Word. up with that? Well, I am a perpetual Halloween decorator. You supposed to mess. Awesome. Hell yeah, Halloween's my him. favorite holiday. It was just Halloween every month. It's a season of miracles, Steve. I can't wait to get it's spooky. Name me one of those, sir. Good, sir. Being that you're right there and I don't yeah. want to reach around your butt. Reach around the butt. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. So we and have that pizza. Pepper. What kind of pizza did you get? Pepperoni sausage. Pepperoni and sausage. Sure, Costco does not want the love right now. They're like, oh, a bunch of people. Costco Roni? No, they're not feeling this. Fuck Costco. Like, Please don't mention our name. They're not a sponsor. Costco's like kind of dope. No, Costco's not a win sponsor, but that's where the pizza came. Pepperoni sausage is delicious. You want some? No, thank you. Okay. So we got a lady in our group. She's 78 years old. She's from Utah. Yeah? She plans on just going out there in her convertible. Dope. That's awesome. She's, uh... Dope. Yeah, yes, thank you! Thank you! Fucking yes! She goes by Graham Boogie. So if anybody can find out Graham <coughs> Boogie's real name and send it to me, that'd be awesome. That's the FBI? Yeah. <laughs> wow. hey, I know you're listening to this right now. We've please already hit like nine trigger warnings. Please just shoot so. me anonymous. Uh, we don't have trigger warnings because we're all grown man. people do, here. Do we need to open the door to get some air? I heard it's Yeah, so I don't die. Yeah. Can, can we open I'm actually allergic door? to marriage once. I've heard this, Dan Boogie's name though is worth money. This gentleman is a very respectable human being who does not use drugs. I'm not against pot. I'm just He's not against them. He just doesn't use them. No, I'm like... 
He's allergic. civilized. He's career way. focused. No, nope. like us unemployed motherfuckers, I just right, don't Dave? Die. <laughs> I'm allergic to pot, dude. Are you? Yeah, a lot. Nice. <laughs> you need a what catcher. Part? You live in like hell, like then. Yep. <laughs> you need a Born and raised in hell. I know, right? I need a bottle top catcher there. I'm not against it. I'm just, what? Nobody on There's an ash viewing, drink. watching, nobody's got nothing to say or ask us. Uh, not yet. We're stuck at Dave What's gave wrong with all of you? Shit. I know we have viewers. It shows us we have viewers. And you're just sitting there watching us talk. Could be, like, yeah, they're probably some... enjoying things. Yeah. Maybe they actually like this. They must. Ew. Good lord. Join the conversation. Dave did. Well, fuck we you. saw how that went. <laughs> we'll talk shit with the best of you. Bring it. Yeah. We can just talk I think about Dave's me. Dave's still watching, right? So. <laughs> you always want to talk about you. I love talking about me. <laughs> Have we lost our Canadian love? There uh, was no love for the Canadian. Eh, well, you know. I think the Canadian loved us. I think the Canadian Now we scared him off. And. Well, Jason has one less viewer for his future podcasts. Oh, no. I will never lose <laughs> Dave. He didn't have that many in the first place. That's all good. True. <laughs> also true. Yeah, I, I, was, I was looking. You got some... How many? Yeah, three. a pretty good audience, yeah, actually. You, you like, got some good love. For a small yeah. start. We got three over here. Word. Wait, is that 30 or three? Three. It's it's a, right now. It's a that also is not accurate because it's a Facebook. A shit ton of people joined this watch party you got going on Facebook and they all left, I think. Because <laughs> you weren't on here, Brian. Yeah, I don't need to be. Uh, I'm my voice. I am the voice of God. Guys, he's allergic. Don't make it just sit in his face. Come on. I am the voice of God. People have no fucking civility. The voice of there. reasoning in this group. That's why I can't be on camera. I think it's civility, but all it's right. It's called the voice oh, of reasoning, reasoning, not the face of reasoning. <laughs> all right, guys, so what's your favorite horror movie? We're going to go to a different direction now. Oh, favorite man. horror movie? It's a tough question. Um, oh, horror. Horror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I caught that on the butt right there. <laughs> I'm going to nip that one right now. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to just pull it. Like I blew it right in Jason's face. That was really rude of me. Even if he did smoke, that was rude. <laughs> if my nose starts to bleed, it's... <coughs> my dog hates to play <laughs> Do you do this so on favorite... Instagram television, too? Is there an Instagram television? Yes. yes. Oh, my God, I gotta go. I'm getting no airtime for this, no. <laughs> News to me? <laughs> no <laughs> idea. Sorry, my friend. Oh, you're fine. So, uh, favorite horror movie, huh? Yeah. What's right, your favorite horror movie and why? It used to be It. It? Which that one? still is. The original. The made for TV? Yeah. Why? I, I went back and watched it. I was older. Was like, yeah. With Tim Curry? Yeah. It's kind of dope. It is. But also kind of not Stephen King's. I have a big problem with Stephen King's horror movies. It was more of translating into... Right? It was more the of books a are way better. Reason, though. I, the, the reason I said I'm not sure if it still is is because I think it's more of a nostalgia. Yeah. Like, I just grew up watching that. I didn't... And it just... But there's been so much other good stuff that I, I didn't, don't know, like... I didn't watch the new hit. That's just where I got my start. You know, because I was a little kid. I See, I read the book. The, you know, other stuff. I read, like, the book. The Shining It. <clears throat> a bunch of Dean Koontz stuff. Some Clive Barker Dragon stuff. Tears. I read a oh, whole lot man. of Dean Koontz stuff when I was in prison. TikTok. Oh, uh, did the, the car scene at the beginning? Prison. That made no sense at all? <laughs> Fuck. We're the only people that know what that is. Right? <laughs> yeah, Glenn did like 20 years for attempted murder. When when I when I was in jail, I read a whole lot of Dean Koontz books. All the other, you know, it's written at such a level that most people can understand it. So it's understandable that most of the guys on the cell block would have a Dean Koontz oh, yeah. book. But yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Stephen King hit him with the van. We're down to two viewers. Oh, well, it's Family Guy. We're really losing them. <laughs> no. That's fine. That's because you guys want to talk about Dean Koontz and shit, and I want to talk about all kinds of fucked up shit. That nobody all right, what's well, the crazy shit you want to talk about there, buddy? All right, give it up. So wait, up? let's talk about my favorite right. horror movies first. I wanted to get yes. on this one. So let's go. I, I have two. The original Omen, being my number <laughs> one. I believe that was the first horror movie I ever saw. I saw it when I was in a sleepover at my friend Paul's house. 
I think I was seven years old and his 14 year old sister played it for us greatest fucking movie I've been convinced I'm the omen ever since anyway my next favorite would have been Nightmare on Elm Street the original Yes. And that's because when I first saw that for the first time, I was at sleepaway camp. My name is Gwen, and my girlfriend at the time at sleepaway camp, her name was Nancy. And if you remember what the characters' names were that the guy in Nightmare on the that Freddy was chasing the most, were Nancy and Gwen. So, did you like the movie Sleepaway Camp? No. Did you see it? Is that the one that had all your titties in it? Not quite. Okay. Uh, no. Sleepaway Camp was uh, <laughs> the one that had the brother and the sister that <laughs> switched roles. Don't remember that one? Yeah. I went to Sleepaway Camp as a kid. So tell us this one they joined. Does it tell us when they leave? No. It just doesn't even show up. It just goes. <laughs> But nobody's talking. Everyone's just being creepy. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, the, <coughs> the algorithms are not always James accurate. Cox. They'll catch it later. Cox. It's okay. Don't worry Decox. about your numbers. Come yeah. on. No, looking at the numbers fun. on the screen is talk to us. looking yeah. at your numbers on the screen is like looking at the numbers on the ruler when you measure your dick. It's just not <laughs> worth it. You're only going to be disappointed. Hey, it is guys. a beautiful day. No, <laughs> it's not even cold or nothing. No, <laughs> I mean, like you're assuming way too much there, sir. Is the queue not long enough? Like, My disappointment. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you. Me too. <laughs> Twice, right there. Almost found something I was good at. So, what's your favorite horror movie? He's looking at me like. Uh. My favorite horror movie? It's yours. Depends on the genre. Um... What actually got to me, what grossed me out, or what is something I can watch over and over. Like, I, I love right. the Halloween series. I even like the stupid oh, Halloween 3. I actually like that one. Now, that said, when it comes to grossing me the hell out, and I can't, I felt dirty and had to wash off, and I hate it, and I wish the people that made it would be um, properly... Expunged. Dealt with the expunged. Thank you. Uh, oh God, a Serbian film is the worst movie ever made by the worst people ever made, or it wouldn't have been made. Um, is it a snuff flick? Oh, you guys have seen it. A Serbian film? Have you seen that one, Brian? No. Yeah, it's 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 garbage on fire, and people that made it need to go to jail. It's one of those. It's not fun. Like I like my horror movies to be. Fake? Well, not necessarily <laughs> fake. Well, obviously fake, but it needs to be something that is like um, a relief from your tensions in real life. You know, like the Scream series was all right in a stupid way. Uh, Man of Hands of Fate is right up there on the best. No one in this room has seen Man of Hands of Fate. No. <laughs> or they would be arguing me <laughs> vehemently. <laughs> that was a joke. So, <laughs> so you guys don't it. do much in the way of horror movies. <laughs> Gremlins. <laughs> Gremlins, oh. It's a, horror, it's a Christmas movie. It's a horror it's movie. It's not a horror movie, it's a Christmas movie. Why can't it be both? I like the more, uh... All right. I got you on that one. Uh, Die Hard. Like right. Die Hard's a Christmas uh, movie. That's my favorite Christmas movie is Die Hard. Personally. It's also an action movie. Yes. See? It can both. be both. Action Christmas movie. Brian, what are you saying? I like things like Saw. See, I don't like, like torture one. porn, man. I, I don't do torture porn uh, too much. Because I like to I like... I like torture porn. I like the complex, like, fuck with your head. Oh, we're talking about porn now? Okay. <laughs> God, here we so, go. So, my favorite films are... Oh, man, <laughs> What, sir? Do you want one or two of these? Do you want to do two? Sure. Two. <laughs> True. I want that. I want that. <laughs> I'll trade you that. <laughs> and you can hold that. Okay. Yeah, okay, so... Dollar well, so I, don't, I, don't, I don't consider, I mean, yeah, I guess Saw's portrait. What about, about the Blob? The Blob was a good movie. Yeah. What did you guys say about The Blob? It, made, it was different. I've never seen it. It was classic. 
You're but it was young. different for a lot Sorry. of reasons. What do you guys think about the blob, though, overall? Like, what it's was been your... a long time since I've seen it. All of us have been a long time to see it, but it was a different thing. It was a whole different story. Different kind of villain, different kind of monster. It wasn't like us. It wasn't uh, human-esque. It was just gelatinous. Yeah, it would just do its thing. It's kind of a mortifying idea. No, nobody's like, hey, like eh, we smoke too much weed for this. We I, it's been 20 years since uh, I've seen it, and a lot they'd of weed They have to come pretty correct to now. actually scare us even in our daily life anymore. It's like, I have no idea what the blob is. You've never seen the blob? No. Ever? Mm -hmm. Never even heard of it. God damn it. <laughs> you got the wrong audience. <laughs> the wrong Pick people the wrong, involved, uh, yeah. too. You picked the wrong people to interview on the... <laughs> Why would you interview us, man? Like, I have no idea! I don't know what I'm doing anymore! Oh, that's right. No. Probably the reefer. I'm in a booth with you at Bigfoot Days. That might it's probably be the reefer. Yeah. That might be something to do with it. You gave me one of those uh, cans of things for, there for that won't kill me. What are you doing in your spare is, time uh, there? Allergies. You're oh, I masturbate so a lot. Smoke here next to you. Yeah, it's, it's starting to get to me. So does Brian, but that doesn't... <laughs> it yeah. doesn't. Uh, you, don't, you stopped? This is my daughter wife. Um, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, Ted Nugent. Good lord. You're so annoying. Or Matthew McConaughey. You're supposed to mash your face twice a day. You just Nugented everywhere. Three times, <laughs> Three times a day, whether you need to or not. Ah. Keep your mind clear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, as soon as you wake up, before you go to bed, so you get a good night's sleep, and then, you know... All right, let's bash on something we can all bash on. You Twice a the day in man? the bathroom at work. Yes, that I did see. <laughs> <laughs> I like your response. Watch the Wicker Man. Did you watch the Wicker Man with Nicolas no. Cage? The remake. No. Uh, uh, did you watch the Wicker Man? I don't own a television. She was watching Minecraft. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. I have no idea what that is. Nice. How bad was that? That was bad. On a scale of 1 to 10. You're pretty nice. I don't <laughs> I said know. 25 I and a half. I did finish it. Yeah, I was drunk when I finished it. I couldn't Stop finish that shit sober. <laughs> Socks. Go inside, dumbass. Can he have pizza crust? She cannot. She? Socks, go inside. Go lay down. Bye. No, oh, she's in heat. She's trying to mount you. And she will try to mount she you. She wants my pizza. She wanted something it else. Socks, right. the pee. <laughs> Socks, go. Hey! I'm trying. You're not helping. <laughs> not helping at all. Don't bang Stop my dog. dog. Socks! Go inside now! <laughs> Good lord. Hey, we got a viewer. Best thing ever. I was told to stop watching that. <laughs> Don't watch the viewers count. I man. glanced. See, they left. Bye. Of course they left. <laughs> well, they have two now. Wait, what? Alright. It's one of them you. So, for Bigfoot Days. Pretty good. Yeah, should be fun. It's gonna be good. Talk to the mic though, so they can hear you. It's right in his I face. Think you can hear me. It's not right in his face. If you had somebody had <laughs> there headphones on, they would know what the volume sounds like. So See, probably I, I can actually watch the soundboard. Oh. So yes. yeah, Bigfoot Days gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun in Willow Creek, California, where the VA yard is. 30, August 31st? August yes. 31st. Yeah. Um, there's also a parade prior. So you guys should join us for that. We'll join some people for that. I won't be there. Are we marching in this parade? No. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Walking you sounds like it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like... Like two blocks, block and a half. Yeah, it's, it's a two block They parade. shut down Highway 299. They go from like the. And they go as fast as they can. To <laughs> they go from the place. Rays to the Chevron, and then they stop. <laughs> <laughs> and they get to the VA park. I'm pretty sure it's like a block and a half, maybe two blocks. <laughs> it's not a long parade. But it's it really good. They put a lot of effort into their floats. They absolutely do. Um, and if you want to dress like a Squatch, um, find your Chewbacca costume. Did you say Squash? Squatch. 
I could have sworn I heard squash. I have a speech impediment. It's okay. It's okay. It's squash. If you want to dress like a cucumber, um... Yes. Yeah, it's 100 <laughs> degree temperatures. Yeah, right, enjoy. Oh. Yeah. So I do have a I different... Thought you were uh, gay. I was in that parade once. I have a foot. partial facial paralysis. Why would you say that? Somebody. Because he's interested, and I'm not. Sorry, fella. <laughs> you was, have a nice beard, but no. I was uh, dressed up as Bigfoot once in that parade. <laughs> Actually, twice. You did? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, when I used to work at the casino, they talked me into getting into this big... Hot, really nasty Bigfoot costume. I'm climbing on the float for a few parades. That was one of them. <laughs> Did you twerk a little bit? No, I was the oh. lamest Bigfoot. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I was the Bigfoot who, yep, exactly like Paul. It's a great uh, example of. They can't see your hand. hand. You gotta bring the hand in a they little more. No, Paul, they saw it. Oh, okay. I was looking at yeah, the wrong screen. See, right there. Uh, it seems so half-assed. Exactly. That's how long <laughs> it was God damn it. It was very half-assed. This thing had, like, jumbo pillows on my front and my back to try and make me look larger and everything. No ventilation. I don't know. It was probably 20-year-old, like, very used Bigfoot cost. It was growy. So I just sat there the whole time. Smelled like under cheese waved. the entire time. Yeah, it was not a fun twerking Bigfoot. <laughs> I was the dancing sub outside of Subway. Ooh, that's, yeah. that's kind of cool. That was green spandex and a sandwich. <laughs> 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 it was not pretty. We we have not grown much in our times, as people, have we? No. <laughs> no. We're sitting in your garage. Drinking beer. Talking Studi studio. 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 I thought we were in a studio. My bad. Studeraj. I thought this was just like a, a back Hollywood lot something. My bad. Except hey. I'm not in L.A. Oh. <laughs> Studeraj. L.A. sucks. Do, do, do we ever check the cars? No, I we like did not it. check the cars. We should have checked the cars. Uh-oh. Our cars are probably keyed and our tires are slashed. Because <gasps> Tweakers we, own all your shit somebody's, now. Uh, we took somebody's parking spot. I'll burn oh, that God. fucking rehab down if my car is keyed. I'm saying that I will burn your <laughs> fucking rehab center down. We won't say which you rehab you car. are, but you know which one you are. Crossroads. Oh, really? This is not evidence! <laughs> we are not going to be evidence on my show! Calm your tits, man! Good lord. They probably won't even try. I mean, what do you got in there anyway? The car? <laughs> God damn it. We both actually drive Son nice of a vehicles, bitch. especially Glenn over here. He's got a nice Beamer. Oh, well, don't tell them where to target. <laughs> they might be watching. Oh, no, they didn't know. Really? Whatever. She just had fucking fat girl <laughs> attitude. Stop. You know how fat girls got this whole attitude problem? Like, oh, oh, oh. They're in my parking oh. spot. Like, Shut um, up, you fat bitch. Get up and walk the extra 10 feet. <gasps> Fuck you. Why is your house, the whole front of your house, is all red zone? <laughs> like, what's the deal with that? <laughs> There's a merging lane. If you looked. It's, it's a merging lane. Well, we, we need to explain that to the neighbors. No, we don't. Well, we It's a merging <laughs> lane. You could explain that to the people that have to get their fucking driver's license test. It's a fucking merging lane. Not a parking spot. Yeah, is our parking validated for the fact that we're here on your fucking show? Fucking gobshites. You can park in the alley by the... Mother... Mm. Nope. Uh, you studio. know what? Just enjoy yourself. I wondered if that was an option. Parking in the alley? Yeah. Word. Did you see any parking in the alley? Yeah. Word. Oh. There's plenty yeah. of parking. It's an alley. What My fence like? line. Boom. Parking. As uh -huh. long as a car can get around, you can park. No one reads the books. No one it's an alley. deserves their licenses anymore. Mm. The people that just tried to merge onto the freeway in front of my big ass beer truck full of a load. Cut in front of you. Oh, good luck. I'm not stopping. Paranormal mystery now. So I see uh, you got a Mantova shirt. Yes, I do. Uh, we did actually an investigation in Manitoba's Two Street Music. Yeah? Hmm? Why? They had a ghost. Do they? Did you find it? Hey, do you ever want to do like a... Uh, weird, weird things happen, yeah. Yeah. take you over to the Music Lodge. Ooh, yes. 
tell him. Used to have a ghost we could take him to the basement to the Mason Lodge. Ooh. Um, you're not my have, types. We used to have a ghost mm. tape that was turned on. No, this, it was actually like we actually had some weird things happen. Don't tell me about the investigation. The ghost. It was kind of cool. Um, Antonio's a good dude. Anthony's kind of cool. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah. I like the guy. Uh, but yeah, we did an actual investigation and uh, had some weird stuff happen. So uh, did you guys stay the night? Like, we we did, did like a few hours. A few hours, and then that was about it. And then I was like, "Eh." Went through the uh, evidence later, quote unquote. I'm still not sure, but there was some strange things. Me and Anthony were like hanging out. My brother was talking to like uh, the SB7 spirit box that I have. Where to put the thing? This thing. Is that like it's like a, a radio. That, type thing? No, it's like you know, kind of yeah, actually. It's a radio that goes through cycles. Oh, okay. And then me and Anthony could hear a deep voice that wasn't something that my brother could hear and we were both hearing the same thing so yeah something happened uh, didn't get much evidence aside from that though but it was very different than what I what I expected so kind of cool kind of cool yeah. indeed indeed yeah. Would it interfere with the stuff in here? No. Can I tell you guys it's a miracle we even still have two people watching us right now. What else are we talking hey, about? Hey man, you're not supposed to be counting. Don't worry, in a couple days we'll have a thousand people. Dog's back. What's the dog's name again? Socks. 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 Look at her feet. Does socks, socks steal socks? You know, it's a Sunday it's evening. Bad, yeah. My dog time. steals she might. every fucking sock she can get her hands on. Do you want another dog by any chance? Um, sure. You got room for a Doberman? Is she, like, able to be made into food? <laughs> what? She <laughs> might make you kids, into man. food. Was it a dark way to go? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> well, how small are the children, first? I have this thing for Korean barbecue. <laughs> Korean barbecue! <laughs> now we're on to something. We are here. still live. <laughs> Just so you guys know. I'm not shutting this off. <laughs> Please don't. I want to enjoy all of this. This is what makes our show hey, look. different than everyone else. Off screen. Off screen. Off screen. <laughs> These guys don't want you to see them setting up their needles off screen. <laughs> <laughs> All the heroin has but to be you, uh, dumped you can, somewhere else. You can hear the sound of the torch heating up the spoon over there. There is no heroin in this <laughs> studio. No, these guys don't do heroin. They can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no heroin, no meth. What? <laughs> Baby Paul. I'm so confused as to where Jack went. He must have... Bounced off somewhere. <laughs> so, I know this isn't the topic oh, of the show. He's not that dumb. I don't think we've had a topic for like the last. I Brian, don't know how long. I've really been wanting to have a conversation with you about this photo that's been kind of floating around. Yeah, you've had time to get permissions. Oh, I did not get permissions. There's no time like the presenters. To, uh, There's no permissions for that. To to talk about to this photo. Which photo are we talking about? First well, it of all. involves you, a There's dog a, cage. You, a dog That's a video. cage. It's not a photo. It's a video. It's a video. You, a dog I only cage. Know the, the photo. Come, oh. come into the picture here, Brian. Here, train response. No, no, no. no. Let's, no, let's discuss good, this photo publicly and let's get it all out. Be Reezy, you need to have the extra cleavage in the show because oh, we're actually, already beat by this too. one. So, what, what are we talking about with this photo and this video? So, can you give some sort of explanation as to what's no, going on? No, there's no explanation for this. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit play. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all please, I need to see. Please don't hit play. Don't hit play. Please don't uh, hit play. Nope. Well, wait, can we show it to the viewer? No. No! But, Jason, here you go. You can... <laughs> That is Just not how so you you're not left out on what's going on here. That is not how you use a fucking cat of nine tails. What amateur does this? <laughs> Preposterous! I have a fucking St. Andrew's cross right over there. <laughs> noobs. Bondage noobs. Worst thing ever. Also, 
Do some squats, Brian. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, thanks for watching Vanishing Gates. I'm Jay. These are the uh Humboldt Storms Area 51. No, Camp Area 51, guys. Camp Storm Area 51. Camp Storm Area 51. Say it with me now. But We're still gonna be hanging out though. If you do storm it, please let me know in advance so I can watch from a safe distance. Thank you. Yes. He'll be the guy you back. in the tent you, in the right you want to avoid. Uh huh. I'll be your best fucking friend. If you've watched Chuck. <sighs> nope. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, bye. <laughs> We're off. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> it's legit.